we're talking about Aito's best weapons, top five of them. We have our Hydro Sword user. <laughs> <laughs> this is Aito at home for those of you who don't know Xingqiu is a hydro sword user just like our future Aito would be. Now the thing is with Xingqiu is that he is probably one of the greatest characters in the game and Aito is going to have a really tough time being compared to this guy because he's pretty much a six star character personally and uh, well not only subjectively right he's just objectively that good the reason is is because his best in slow weapon is actually a four star weapon now even when this is a four star weapon his elemental skill allows him to really get a lot of damage from it right yeah the sacrificial sword is such a powerful weapon that i would give it the fifth spot on today's video now this could be really like changeable you can the type up five can always be interchangeable between each other so these are just you know very out there now why the sacrificial sword would be pretty good on ayato is because obviously the elemental skill could be used more than once it could be used twice now if we have that with more energy recharge with the decent base attack it's actually pretty low but it's where the the energy recharge is where the at where it's at the reason why this weapon is actually that good is because of the cooldown of shinkyo's elemental skill right it's 21 sec now if we use the elemental skill using the sacrificial sword we have a chance of completely negating that and resetting it upon hitting an opponent now if we do successfully get this we get it back however the cooldown still you know goes on after 21 seconds because the sacrificial sword only works for 22 seconds now i think upon refinement this actually goes up or it goes down right so you have a better chance to get the you know cooldown decrease and you have a that they lower cooldown upon refinement this could mean that you can have a total uptime on your elemental skill this could mean that you can have a uptime on your ability to actually cast an elemental skill for it to be you know completely negated and reduced so that's pretty good that's why this weapon is such a good weapon for Xing Cho, and also helps him with the energy recharge especially because his elemental skill gives a bunch of energy particles for himself this character is broken we obviously know that but some of the weapons that he may have actually might not be that good so we're going to talk about the fourth best but for the weapon for Ayato personally and I think the fourth best weapon on Ayato could be the Aminoma Kagu. Now I am only talking about four star weapons right now. I still haven't gotten to the five star weapons and I'll leave that for the rest of the video but the Aminoma Kagechi is only good because it has a large amount of attack percentage even with a low base attack. It has a lot of, you know, a lot of attack percentage and the actual passive is really good after using your elemental skill and you use it a bunch of times you get energy back for after using your elemental burst this is actually pretty good and i feel like you could actually make a lot out of this weapon so it could be actually a pretty good weapon for ayato similar to how we use this weapon for our kamisato ayaka and ayaka actually uses this weapon pretty well so i, I wouldn't see why Ayato would not be able to use this. Now, for the third best weapon, I would highly suggest you guys go with the Black Cliff Longsword. Now, I only talk about this weapon at Refinement Rank 1. With Refinement Rank 1 at level 90, this will have a base attack of 565, which is not too bad at all, as well as a lot of crit damage to go with it as well. Now, the good thing about this weapon is after you're eliminating an opponent, you actually get a decent amount of you know attack percentage. If you have a lot of refinements on this, it in increases in incredible because you can get three stacks of it so if you have it at refinement rank 5 you have a 24 percent increase in attack this will give you the most amount of attack i've seen in, in like four star weapons right you get a 72 increase in the boost if you have all three stacks which is pretty 72 percent of attack that's a lot but obviously it does have a certain point in which it gets you know a little you know stagnated it's really good at refinement rank one and that's why it's on top three but if you want it at refinement rank five it will be on the higher end of the spectrum be one of the better weapons because of this increase in attack after refine but at refinement rank one it would stay 
guys. It would still stay in my top three. For the second best weapon here, I would use the Black Sword. The Black Sword has a decent base attack, not the greatest, with a crit rate of 27%. This will help you a lot with your crit rate builds. This will be amazing on him as well because it increases your normal and charge attack damage. We can pretty much ignore this part of the passive, but the 20% increase in the you know total damage dealt from normal and charge attacks is really, really good. Especially if you have this weapon with refinement, it's going to be really much better, right? You can get a 40% increase, but it is paid of play, but it is what it is. This weapon would be actually pretty good for our Aito if I did have this weapon on my free to play account which I do not, <laughs> but yes, it's not a bad weapon. I would I would actually use this on my item myself. Now for the number one weapon it would be his best in slot weapon that actually comes out with him. Now his best in slot weapon, we still don't know it. We still haven't seen it, but once we do, I'll let you guys know. However, it would 100% be his best in slot. I also wanted to talk about some other five star weapons such as the primordial jade wing spear which would also be as i would contend it with the top spot right because we don't know the new weapon i would put it at number one for now just like a replacement number one but it is so good with the 44 percent increase in critical rate and gives you the attack buff and the hp buff or whatever it was it's really strong and it is currently in the rotation for a few more hours if you guys <laughs> <laughs> if you want to try to snipe it i would recommend it i i really wouldn't recommend trying to snipe it but it is still in the rotation so if you guys want to uh you know, try your best to get this weapon i wouldn't recommend it i wouldn't recommend trying to get it um it is really really good but if you don't want kagura's verity you're going to have a really tough time but uh, yeah an honorable mention for the top five is going to be the Skyward Blade. The Skyward Blade has a decent amount of energy recharge and a large amount of base attack to give Aito a decent amount of energy recharge alongside his, you know, low base attack or high base attack or whatever it is. It's going to give a decent amount of energy recharge to really help out with his, you know, burst builds. This will help you to really get the most out of Ayato, including the, you know, good amount of base attack. That's what five star weapons are for, giving you that increase in attack. And yeah, I think that's going to be it. Those are the weapons I would rank for Ayato in the upcoming future. Obviously it's going to maybe change in the future. I don't really know, but for now, this is my speculations and predictions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel as well. I will see you guys in the next video very soon.